like Giles Phillips and Jaden Harris and Bromley are on the way and uh, they're playing from right to left in this first half in their all-white strip uh, attacking the East Bank who already in a good voice away to that left-hand side with the, uh, the flags draped across uh, the terraces and the ball over on that far side all shot in possession halfway inside their own half the ball goes straight out of the plane it's going to be a throw into Bromley fulcrum of the, of the Bromley midfield where you've got Arthurs who's the more attacking creative player breaking forward from the centre Bigham again in the action plays it to the right back Joe Partington towards the end of the order shot penalty a shot comes in it's high wide and handsome and so wide in fact the ball bounces on the top of the East Bank and bounces over the East Bank into the car park uh, behind the goal at the Ebb Stadium we've had half an hour of play it's fair to say that neither goalkeeper has really been tested Steve I would say at the moment they haven't no it's been very combative but but I think I think still a little bit scrappy neither side have probably pleased their manager too much now here come a chance for the shots to break forward in the shape of uh, Whittaker who breaks forward it's a good run he's going all the way towards the um, the goal line gets the cross a good cross as well cut back and cleared away by Shomi and that was a really good bit of play by Christian Oxley Chamberlain he ran from halfway he got to the byline he cut the ball back and he needed a good clearing header and that's as good as we've seen from the shot so far he's still in possession down this right hand side and the shot still retaining possession play to that far side again the Kinsella halfway inside the Bromley half a little ball forward a good ball forward as well what can the shots make of this with Agiapong lays the ball inside comes to Whittingham what can he do Ball played back to Ryan Glover. Glover, 25 yards from goal. Right footed shot, fires the ball in. Oh! Terrific effort by Ryan Glover. And that was destined to make his way just inside that right hand post. It needed a good save by Reese Cook to claw the ball behind for a Cora. Excellent effort, best of the match so far for the shots. 32 minutes gone. Caller to the shots. I take Bingham floats the ball in. Dreadful free kick cleared away by uh, Edson. <laughs> And probably back in possession, the ball is clear. Yes, and it's still a scrappy affair, Joe, at the start of this second period. Really, neither side getting a grip on things and giving the ball away rather too easily. The nearest we came to a goal, an excellent shot by Ryan Glover uh, after 52 minutes, uh, which was clawed away by the Bromley keeper, Reese Charles Cook. Uh, yeah, plenty for Mitch Walker to think about. He's trying to get his angles and his wall right. So Partington and Bush both standing over the ball. Uh, referee's whistle blows, then comes Parkington, floats it right foot in. Oh, and it's straight into the back of the net, and that's a terrific strike by Joe Partington. Couple of yards outside the penalty area, right-footed free kick. And it hit the back of the net before Mitch Walker could move. So 10 minutes into the second half, and the visitors Bromley take the lead. It's Aldershot Town nil, Bromley 1. Well, Joe Partington was a lot more than the decoy in that, in that move. That shows what I know. That was a fantastic free kick. Yeah, uh, then, the, and there does need to be, but certainly, yeah, they, they, they seem to be uh, picking it up a little bit and it seems to be another another substitution imminent for the home side as well. Phillips forward to Agupon, halfway inside the Bromley half, plays it over that far side. Oxlade Chamberlain back to Agupon, looking for a pass. Little ball full, good ball inside the perimeter. Little ball shot comes in. Oh, that was a great chance, and the linesman's flag stayed down. And that really was the best chance. All shot had it was played inside the penalty. Good ball by Agupon. The ball came all the way across to Panya too, who really should have done better, Steve. He, he to lift it at least another notch and probably a couple. So throwing over on that far side to be taken by the Bromley skipper Chris Bush. All in white. Ball down that left hand side, cleared away by uh, Corey Jordan. Not towards the halfway line. Nice bit of control by Josh. Is it Fawoli? Is how you pronounce it? <laughs> We're not entirely sure. I think right. it depends who you ask. But right. My best guess is Fawoli. Right. Okay. Well, we'll stick with that. The ball with Edsa in the midfield for all shot down breaks for the number eight. Nice little ball forward. Here is Fawoli. He's on the ball. Oh, little ball forward. He's looking for Agupong, and he just played it a little bit too firmly. And Agupong could control the ball. The ball has gone behind for a goal kick. He looks lively, Steve. And the direction was all wrong. It was only ever headed one place, and that was uh, behind the goal line. So, corner taken by Arthurs, plays it towards the back post. Danger here, Fulton shot the ball, bounces around inside the penalty area. Oh, what a chance that was. That was a chance to settle the tie. The ball was headed forward but on the spin. It was James Alabi who really should have done better. Probably three or four yards out. Over on that far side, Josh Fawoli is battling away. Ball played to this near side to Kinsella. Kinsella spreads the ball to this left-hand side, looking for the other substitute. And Jolie, what can he do? Cuts inside onto his right foot, still going. Kinsella to this near side. Kinsella. Agipong. Edso. Edso. 
Uh, well, they're trying their hardest, but they still trail by a goal to nil, and the digital clock is just showing that there are eight minutes remaining here at the EBB Stadium. That they've in set in recent weeks. So, what can the shots do in these final six and a half minutes? The ball is with Agupong. Glover should have made a run inside then, really. He decided to stay out on the wing, and he didn't really give Agupong an option. Kinsella down this left-hand side. Little ball inside the penalty area. Phillips is up from the back. Danger here. As far as the shots can say, Phillips gets the ball in. Deflected away off a of Bromley leg, then hacked to clear by the Bromley defence. And Bromley break, and they've got men forward here because all shot committed, plenty of men forward. And momentarily, it's a two against two. Danger here for the shots. The ball is played inside the penalty area. Could Bromley finish it here? Yes, indeed, they do. And that's a goal on the break and a terrific strike as well. Played inside the penalty area. It's a substitute, George Alexander, who finished. A decent game, though. Corey yes. Jordan. Look, look, looks a good footballer to me. Uh, as the ball is played over to that far side to Glover. Glover forward, that's better, down that right hand side, looking for the run of Agupon, is the ball going to go out of play? No, it's not, he keeps the ball in. Now, can the shots get at least a, a consolation goal? The ball back to Edson, Edson on the edge of the penalty. Will he hit it first time? He does. Well, the ball curls wide and over the crossbar. And that's going to be a goal kick, which I'm sure Bromley will be in no uh, hurry to take. We've got just two minutes left to play here at the uh, EBB Stadium. Lays the ball back inside. Now back to Skipper Kinsella on this left-hand side, but there goes the referee's final whistle. I'm afraid the shots have rather tamely gone out of the FA Trophy at the fourth round stage. <laughs> Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.